What's up, y'all, man? Three. Welcome to the PA News Network right here on Adana, the PA's YouTube channel, where every single week we bring you the latest and greatest PA-related news and content. So if you're new here, go ahead and subscribe and come back every single week. Let's get right into the news. Here we go. On to some not-so-great news. A physician assistant was arrested for rape following a two-month investigation by police. Christopher J. Mew is accused of having an inappropriate relationship with a patient at the Substance Abuse Recovery Center he worked at, according to New York State Police. The alleged rape happened under Mew's direct care while he was employed at the Lo Loyola Recovery Center. Mew was charged with third-degree rape and transported to the Steuben County Cat Court for arrangement. Next. The Presbyterian College in Clinton, South Carolina has a brand new physician assistant program, so shout out to them out there in South Carolina. Come on and raise up. Take your sh- Oh, wait, no. My bad. That's that's North Carolina, right? North Carolina, come on and raise up. My bad. My bad. My bad. Anyway, South Carolina Presbyterian College, uh, this right here, the ARC. PA has granted accreditation provisional status to the Presbyterian College Physician Assistant Program sponsored by Presbyterian College. So congratulations to you guys. One cool thing about this college right here is if you are a Christian or part of the faith community, their mission is really founded all in faith and spirituality. So one of their things is spiritual and faith and hope is part of their mission. Part of the mission, all right? It's not just medicine and, and morals and everything else. It's also faith. So if you enjoy that, check this college out. I'll leave a link for that in the description down below. Physician assistant compensation has gone up in the workforce, 1% outpacing inflation. This article in the Recycle Intelligence quotes, the PA workforce is strong and growing stronger every day, said David E. Mittman. Uh, who was the president and chair of the AAPA Board of Directors. The year-to-year -year steady increase of PA salary affirms that PA... That, 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 Y'all making so much dang money, I can't even talk! Shoot! PA salary affirms that PAs are in high demand. The APA reported that more than 131,000 PAs are currently practicing and the workforce is projected to increase by 37% from 2016 to 2026, significantly faster than the average for all other occupations. It goes on to state that the AAPA report found that physician assistants working part-time or less than 32 hours a week reported working a median of 24 hours weekly and had a median base salary of $83,000. I'm in the wrong business. $83,000, part-time? Like, I'm, I'm working full-time in entertainment. I'm I'm grinding. I ain't coming close to $83,000. All right, back to work, back to work. The social media shout of the week goes to the PAC Instagram page right here. The PAC is the Physician Assistance of Color. If you are of color and you are interested in becoming a PA or just involved in that community and networking and all kinds of cool stuff, they are going to be hitting up Detroit, Michigan. Shout out to Detroit on September 28th, 2019. So be sure to follow their Instagram page for more information regarding that. Thank you so much for watching the PA News Network. If you like this video and you like the idea of coming back every single week for PA related news, Hit the like button right now. If you don't hit it, we ain't going to do the news. We need to know y'all want to see the news. If you want to see the news, hit the like button. Leave a comment. Do something to let us know that you want to see this. All right? And please be sure to go ahead and subscribe. Go to Adana, the PA's Instagram page. And we'll see you next week. All right? Peace.